Hey, what's up, everybody? So I'm glad to be back. The NFL season is upon us. It's, hey, it's the NFL, guys. Um, NFL picks. Uh, I'm doing something a little different this year. Uh, I'm going to do the picks. Uh, and then I am going to do four players to shine. And um, then I've got three bold predictions. So let's get to that week one prediction here in just a minute. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the very first video, the very first podcast of, hey, it's the NFL, guys. Uh, week one picks. Uh, man, I'm looking at the schedule today while I was at work, and I was just like, wow. There is some really, 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 really good matchups uh, this week, and it's going to be a fun week. Uh, I'm so excited. Uh, I got to check in with my friend, Jimmy Bobganoush. Jimmy Bobganoush, are you ready for your week one uh, fantasy football, week one of the NFL? Yes! 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 I am too. I am too. I am so excited. Man, we've got some good matchups. We got Rams and Bills. We've got Bengals and Steelers. I think the Dolphins and Patriots games could be pretty good. Uh, we got the uh, uh, Chargers and Raiders, Chiefs and Cardinals, Bucks and Cowboys. Oh my God! This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Yeah, I'm telling you, there is a lot of good stuff. So let's get right to my Week One picks, uh, and we're gonna start off with the Thursday night game. And the Thursday night matchup, we've got a great one to start off. And I'm probably going to miss the first half. Like, I'll probably come home and watch the second half because I'm going to go see Barbarian on Thursday night. I'm really excited to see that movie. It's getting really great reviews, so I'm going to probably miss a little bit of this game. But we've got uh, the Rams. we got the Bills. We've got Matt Stafford against Josh Allen. Uh, the Rams lost um, Odell Beckham. Obviously, they lost Robert Woods. Um, this is going to be a very hard-nosed game. It could be a very low-score game. Uh, but, yeah, definitely it's going to be fun to watch. And um, Matt Stafford looks like he's good to go. Looks like the elbow is fine. And uh, we definitely have to say that going into the ESPN fantasy uh, football matchup or, uh, for fantasy football, the ESPN, uh, the pre-rankings, the Buffalo Bills have, has the number one defense in fantasy football. So, man, you got the Rams defense, Aaron Donald. Uh, man, you got, you got the... Buffalo's good defense. Uh, I don't know. This one was really hard to pick. But you know what? I I, I I think the Bills, I'm not ready to pick my um, Super Bowl picks yet. I think I'm going to do that. I might do a special video Sunday morning real quick and do my uh, – Top three choices for MVP and my Superboy, Superboy, Super Bowl picks on Sunday morning. 
So I'm definitely going to do that before the uh, first Sunday in the NFL. But I am going with the Rams. I like the Rams. Um, if I were you, if I would, you know, if you're playing fantasy football, I probably wouldn't start Devin Singletary, Devin Singletary, or Darrell uh, Henderson as a flex, or even Cam Akers, uh, because I just feel like with these two really good defenses, I think the running game is not going to be there for this week. So I would try to look different in your fantasy football lineup and not start any of those running backs. But yeah, I think somehow the Rams are going to pull this game off and it should be a really, really good game. But I'm going with the Rams. And uh uh-oh, we've got my first upset pick for week one. And you know what? A lot of analysts, and I'm even saying that, like the NFC North is up for grabs because Green Bay's not as good as they have been without losing Devontae Adams. The Bears have lost a lot of players. Um, I like the Vikings, though. I think the Vikings are going to be pretty decent. But you know what? My upset pick, I am going to pick the Lions to upset the Eagles. I don't know why. I just had a funny feeling. Like, I don't know. I, I like Jalen Hurts. Um, you know, they do have A.J. Brown now. Um, but I don't know. And I just really don't trust Jared Goff. Um, but um, I do like, um, I was going to say carry on Johnson. But no, that's not DeAndre Swift. I really like him to have a huge fantasy game. Um, was it Amon Saint? Uh, is it Amon Saint Brown? Is that who it? Is, who I'm thinking of, thinking for for the the Lions? Anyway, yeah, dude. I think the Lions somehow surprised the Eagles in this matchup. And I gotta talk to my. I gotta uh, ask my friend Yakko. Hey Yakko, uh, what do you think about my upset pick? Um, the Lions beating the Eagles. Out of your fucking mind. <laughs> hey, it's early on, you know. I might get this right. I might get this wrong. But I don't know. I just had this feeling when I was looking at this matchup. I had that little voice say, hey, you know what? I think the Lions are going to pull off this win. So, man, if they do, uh, you're welcome, Lions fans, uh, for me picking this pick. So I'm going to take the Lions to upset the Eagles. And now we've got my uh, my team, my favorite team, the Chicago Bears that's playing the 49ers. You know what? I'm picking the Bears over the 49ers. I know it's probably not going to be a really great season for the Bears, but I just don't trust Trey, Trey Lance yet. I don't know. I might be totally wrong. Trey Lance might come out and look like Tom Brady or freaking uh, Patrick Mahomes and blow up the Bears. I mean, the 49ers defense is really good. But this is his first time actually starting and him being the number one quarterback. So it's going to take a while for him to get used to uh, Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuel. I don't know. Like, I like Fields. I like uh, David Montgomery to have a big game. I think Darnell Mooney's going to have a great game. And I feel like I should have drafted Darnell Mooney on a lot more teams. But if Darnell's starting to have a really good game, a really good season, and Fields has a, a lot better sophomore year, I'm really thinking, like, I'm going to try to make a trade to get Darnell Mooney. But I don't know. I did. They're playing at uh, Chicago, too, which I thought they were playing out at San Francisco. So I thought it was a 425 game. But, no, I am definitely going to take my Bears to beat the 49ers. Uh, and speaking of 49ers, Chris Sims actually had – has the 49ers to be in the Super Bowl. I think he had Chiefs and 49ers, and I'm like, wow, that's crazy. And the one thing is the NFC is definitely wide open. Uh, the AFC is definitely uh, wide open, too. I mean, the AFC is definitely a lot better. Um, now we've got the Bengals and the Steelers. I'm going with the Bengals in this game. I mean, you got Joe Burrow. Jamar Chase is going to have another great season. You know, the Steelers is going to try to figure out their quarterback situation. They're going with my former Bear, 
Mitchell Trubisky in this game. Um, you know what? I, I really like the. I don't know why. I don't know why Chase Claypool. Is he like the number two or is he the number three? What's going on with that? But I don't know. I think there's going to be too much Joe Burrow for the Steelers. I'm going to go with the Bengals over the Steelers. Uh, we've got the Dolphins and the Patriots. Oh, my God. This is too... Everybody's saying how, like, Tua is going to have, like, a monster year. I mean, he's already got one of the best wide receivers in the NFL with Tyreek Hill. I just can't believe he's in Miami. Um... I really like Mac Jones. I think Damian Damian Harris is going to have a great game, but I could I really think Tua is going to have a really good game. I think Tyree Tyreek Hill is going to have a really good game. Um, I think Mike Gesicki is going to have a good game. I don't know. I like the Dolphins over the Patriots, and then we've got the revenge game. Yes, the revenge game. We've got Panthers and Browns. We got Shake and Bake, Baker Mayfield starting for the Carolina Panthers. And oh my God, he was just like, I'm going to fuck them up. And then I love how like Baker Mayfield is going back on his like his uh, phrase saying, oh, wait a minute. I didn't say that. So anyway, but yeah, um, the Browns, obviously they're not going to have... Uh, Deshaun Watson for 11 games. So Jacob uh, uh, Jacoby Brissett is going to be starting. Um, I It's going to be really fun to see what uh, Robbie Anderson does this year with uh, Baker Mayfield as the, the quarterback. But I don't know. I really think Baker Mayfield is going to come in and he's going to have a big game. And I, I think this game could be over at halftime. So... I'm going to go with the Panthers over the Browns. Uh, I have the Colts over the Texans. This is going to be a huge blowout. Uh, Jonathan Taylor is going to have a great game. I think Matt Ryan is really going to have a really good game. I just don't see the Texans scoring that many points against the Colts' really good defense. So, yeah, I think the Colts win easily in this game. Uh, Saints and Falcons. Oh, this one took me about 10 to 15 minutes to choose because I was like, okay, you know, Jamison Winston, you know, he's so up and down. You know, I, Michael Thomas, is he still questionable? I don't know. I mean, obviously, they got Alvin Kamara, who's not going to miss any time from suspension. So he's a good, good good to go. So that was the one reason why I'm picking the Saints over the Falcons. Even though the Falcons, I think, is kind of in a re rebuilding year. I mean, um, they don't have Mike Davis anymore. Uh, Calvin Ridley is still out for the year, which is crazy. Uh, they don't have Matt Ryan, but I've always liked Marcus Mariota. Like, I've always been a big fan of Marcus Mariota. And there was, like, so many times in my drafts where I really wanted to select Mariota as my backup. But, um, yeah, I just feel like it's going to be too much Saints for the Falcons. I think Alvin Kamara is going to have a huge game. If Michael Thomas is healthy, you know, which Michael Thomas is going to show up? Is it going to be the Michael Thomas who was like the number one receiver coming off the fancy football board like years ago? I think the, uh, I think the Saints are going to uh, win this one easily. We've got the Ravens and Jets. Obviously, you know, Lamar Jackson's going through contract extension talks. I don't know what's going on with that. I mean, uh, there's a bunch of drama. I don't know why they should resign him. They should sign him. You know, I like Lamar Jackson. Uh, they don't have Hollywood Marquise Brown anymore. Um, you know, what is Rashad Bateman going to do in this game? Uh, you know, there was rumors like Lamar Jackson was saying, you know, I was going to, he's going to sit out until he gets a, a contract extension, but he's good to go against uh, the Jets. Uh, they're saying that Zach Wilson, which is crazy, he said, you know, there were when Zach Wilson got hurt in the preseason game, they said, yeah, he's probably going to miss maybe like the first two to three weeks of the regular season. But no, it sounds like Zach Wilson is going to be ready to go for this game. I kind of was almost picking like the Jets to upset the Ravens, you know, but I, I just still feel like the Ravens are going to um, get this. Get this uh, game one. I pick in the Ravens over the Jets. Uh, Jaguars. I have the Jaguars over the Redskins. Oh, Commanders. The Jags over the Commanders. Uh, 
I think uh, what's Trevor Lawrence is going to be like this year in his, his second year. Uh, James Robinson seems like he's good to go. I don't know how much he's going to play. It's going to be really interesting to watch Travis uh, Entian play. I really hope this is a 4 o'clock game because I really want to watch this game after uh, my Bears game, Bears and 49ers game. Um, I think it's going to be really interesting to see if Entian is a, a a solid running back or is he going to be a bust. Uh, this is no brainer. I picked the Titans over the Giants. Um, you know, what's going on with Saquon? You know, what type of season is he going to have? What type of game is he going to have? I think this is Daniel Jones' make it or break it year for the Giants. But I think it's going to be too much Derrick Henry. And it's going to be too much Tannehill for the Giants to overcome. I'm picking the Titans. Titans over the Giants. Oh, this is going to be a really fun one to watch. I know this is a 425 game. Chargers and Raiders. Oh my God. We got Justin Herbert. We got Mike Williams, which I didn't select Mike Williams this year in my fantasy football because he screwed me last year. And I was like, fuck you, Mike Williams. I am not selecting you in the 2022 season. Um, I needed him to just have like four or five fantasy points. And he like he like dropped the ball. He only had like two in one of these games. And I'm like, are you kidding me? What is happening? Uh I think a lot of people are sleeping on Derek Carr, you know. I think Derek Carr is a decent quarterback. He's not the best, but yeah, I think he's decent. He's got Devontae Adams now. He's got Hunter Renfro. I mean, Josh Jacobs is there. You got Darren Waller. This Raiders team might be a surprise this year. I really like this Raiders team. But I just feel like it's going to be too much Austin Eckler. It's going to be too much Mike Williams. It's going to be too much Keenan Allen. It's going to be Herbert, Herbert, Herbert all the way. Chargers beat the Raiders. I will say this is going to come down to a very close game. Yeah, I, I just don't I just don't see this being um, a very big blowout at all. Um the next matchup we got is uh, Chiefs and Cardinals. And I guess the Cardinals is favored in this game. They, uh, I saw on ESPN, like, the Cardinals have, like, a 63% to win this game. Like, that's crazy. Um, I mean, obviously, they like, the Chiefs doesn't have um, Tyree Kill anymore. And obviously, the Cardinals doesn't have DeAndre Hopkins for six games. So it's going to be really interesting... Like, is Juju Smith-Schuster going to step up? I'm telling you, don't sleep on Sky Moore. I think Sky Moore is going to be really good, the rookie wide receiver from Western Michigan. If you need a wide receiver, you're having second thoughts, you're like, ooh, I don't know about this one, this receiver. You know, I kind of want, you know, maybe I'm looking for a sleeper. Pick up Sky Moore, the rookie from uh, Western Michigan. I think in a few years... He is going to be the new Tyreek Hill. Uh, I really do. I, I think he's going to have a really good rookie, rookie season. Um, you know, what is CEH going to do? Um, I like the Chiefs. I, I just don't want to bet against Patrick Mahomes and the Chief. I mean, I like uh, Kyler Murray. Uh, you know, they got Hollywood Marquise Brown. They got A.J. Brown still there. Or A.J. Green. I'm sorry, A.J. Green there. But... James Connors there. He had what 15 touchdowns last year. I mean, oh my God, this this is going to be a really, really good game. I'm telling you, man, I'm excited for this game. But I'm gonna pick the Chiefs over the the Cardinals. And now we have my game of the week. And my game of the week is the Sunday night football game. Yeah, the Sunday night game's going to be really good. Oh my God. Buccaneers and Cowboys. 45 uh, year old Tom Brady. Um, oh, this could be a really high score game. 
this is going to be a really fun game to watch Sunday night. Am I going to be watching? Oh, you know I'm going to be watching. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, everyone's predicting C.D. Lamb to have a monster fantasy year. You know, what is big question mark with um, Ezekiel Elliott? What is he going to do? I'm sure Mike Evans is going to have a big game. Um, I think Leonard Fournette, uh, I think he have could have a good game. I really like the pickup of Russell Gage. I think Russell Gage is a sleeper. I really like him, but I'm not going to bet against Tom Brady. I am picking the Bucks over the Cowboys. And uh, next, we've got the Monday Night Football game. And yeah, this one is going to be a definitely interesting game. We've got the Broncos and the Seahawks. We got Russell Wilson uh, going back to Seattle to face against his old team. Um, Geno Smith is starting for the Seahawks. Uh, I think Russell Wilson is going to have a monster game. And Jerry Judy is going to have a monster game. Jerry Judy is going to be Russell Wilson's uh, favorite um, a target. And it sucks that Tim Patrick's out for the rest of the year. Uh, I really liked Tim Patrick last year. I picked him up on a lot of my teams on waivers. So it sucks uh, that he's hurt. Uh, Rashad Penny takes over as the starting running back now that Chris Carson retired, and that sucks for Chris Carson because I Chris Carson was always a solid running back, and I always selected him every year for the last few years. But you know, injuries has taken his toll on um, Chris Carson. Uh, you know, what is DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett going to be like in this game? You know, is I still feel like they're going to get their catches. I feel like they're going to get their fantasy points. They're still going to get their touchdowns, but it's really interesting, like, if they have a decline. But I am going to take the Broncos over the Seahawks. And that's my matchups, uh, my picks for week one. I'm picking the Rams over the Bills on Thursday night. My upset pick, I'm picking the Lions over the Eagles. I got the Bears over the 49ers, the Bengals over the Steelers, Dolphins over the Patriots. In the revenge game, I got the Patri Panthers over the Browns, Colts over the Texans, Saints to beat the Falcons, Ravens to beat the Jets, the Jags over the uh, Commanders, Titans over the Giants, Chargers over the Raiders, Chiefs over the Cardinals. The game of the week for my pick, the Sunday night game, I've got the Bucks over the Cowboys. In the Monday night game, I've got the Broncos over the Steelers. And like I did last year, I am going to um, pick a score for one of the teams. And I've got to come in within, let's just say, the five-point range, let's say. Um, and see how close, and see if I, if I come within the five-point uh, range of the score. I am going to go with the Chargers to beat the Raiders. 27-24. And uh, next, um, we've got uh, my four players to shine in fantasy uh, football. So we've got some um, fantasy football chat. Okay, here is my four players to shine in fantasy football. Last year, I picked one running back, one receiver, and one quarterback. Well, this year, I'm including a tight end. So, um, same thing with this. I've got to come in within uh, five points within their fantasy, um, their predictions. So, with the quarterback for week one, I'm going with Russell Wilson. And I think Russell Wilson is going to have 31 fantasy points for start off week one. I think Russell Wilson is 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 back to being a top five 
um, quarterback in fantasy football. But, you know, they are playing the Seahawks. The Seahawks are definitely in a re- rebuild mode, definitely losing uh, Russell Wilson. I think they need to go out and find, a, a, like, a top-notch quarterback. I think they'll probably look to the draft. So I'm picking Russell Wilson to have 31 fantasy points. The running back, I'm going to say Travis Entian. I think his first game, I think he's going to come out there. He's going to have a really good game um, against the Commanders. Um, So I think Travis Entian's first game, he's going to have 21 fantasy points. And then for the wide receiver, um, I think this could be a shootout. Um, You know, as long as nobody gets hurt. I'm going to predict CeeDee Lamb to have 25 fancy points in the Dallas and Buccaneers game. And the new position that I'm doing this year, um, I'm picking a tight end. So I'm going to go with Kyle Pitts. I think Kyle Pitts is going to have a really big game. I think he's going to be uh, the Falcons' number one receiver. But I do like, um, is it Derek London? Uh, the rookie wide receiver, I really do like him a lot, but I think Kyle Pitts is going to have a big season. Uh, I think he's going to have 27 fantasy points. And uh, next, we're going to do the last part of uh, the week one. Hey, it's the NFL Guys podcast. Um, is my three bold predictions. So um, with this, I pick three scenarios, which I think, Think could happen um, that I'm predicting. So we're going to start at number three. So at number three, I'm predicting Baker Mayfield will have 300 plus yards. I'll say, you know, when I say 300 plus, I mean like maybe 305, 303, 315. But I'm going to think, I'm going to say Baker Mayfield's going to have at least 300 plus yards and three touchdowns against uh the the Cleveland Browns. I think it's going to be a big revenge game. I think he's going to blow up. People are going to be like, "Whoa, I didn't see that coming." So, yeah, I that's my third number third prediction bold prediction. Number 2, um I'm going to predict that Mitchell Trubisky is going to have three interceptions in this game. Um it's been a long time since he start he started in the NFL. He was obviously a backup with Buffalo. Um, you know, Cincinnati's defense is definitely really good. They're playing a tough Cincinnati team who was in the Super Bowl last year. I don't know. That's my number two prediction. I predict that Trubisky is going to have three interceptions in this game against Cincinnati. And then uh, my number one bold prediction for uh, the week one is I think Russell Wilson's going to have, just like Baker Mayfield, I think he's going to have – uh, 300 plus yards and three touchdowns. Like I think Jerry Judy's going to get at least maybe one or two. Uh, Albert, um, Obo Obo Wab. Well, I'm going to mispronounce his name. Obo Wanabi Wanabuam. I think that's how you're going to say it. You know who he is. Albert Wabanam, the tight end for Denver. I think he could have a touchdown. Uh, a lot of good things coming out of training camp. Uh with Denver's tight end. But yeah, I think Russell Wilson's going to light up Seattle uh, with 300 plus yards and three touchdowns. And oh my gosh, I just have to say, man, it is so, so exciting that week one of the NFL is just, just hours upon us. The first game, Buffalo and uh, the Rams. And I can't wait to get home after the movie to see, uh, the second half of that game. So, yeah, I'm not going to be going to the movies every Thursday. Obviously, I'll be at home watching uh, a lot of these Thursday night games. So, yeah, um, what also I do, if you're your first time watching this podcast, I've been doing the last couple of years, um, I always do my picks, usually on um, Tuesday. Like Tuesday, I will do the um, kind of recap where last year I did like a lot of the NFL scores and recap it. Like if the Patriots beat the Bengals like 35, 34, I would say, hey, they won that and give stats. But that took too long to do. So what I'll do is um, 
On Tuesday, I'm going to recap the scores and my picks and see how close I came with my fantasy point um, players that I predicted, my three bowl prediction. So I'll go over that week on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, I'm going to do my picks for the week. And I'm debating about Fridays, maybe doing a fantasy football, um, kind of talking about certain players you should start on uh, the upcoming weekend for Thursday. Um, or I should say maybe for, for Sunday and Monday. Um, so I'm thinking about doing that on Fridays. But anyway, hey. Thanks, everybody. Um, are you ready for the football season? Are you ready for fantasy football? I hope everybody has a great fantasy football season. I like a lot of the teams I drafted. I mean, obviously, I'm going to have some teams that's not going to be that good. But I'm so excited for fantasy football. I'm so excited for NFL football. You can follow me on my social media. Um, my big one is uh, definitely my TikTok videos. Um, I'm going to be probably posting a lot of of uh, NFL videos on there if I'm watching NFL Red Zone and then it comes down to like the last 10 seconds of the game and like Justin Tucker's kicking a 55 yard field goal for the win. I'm going to be posting a lot of NFL videos on my TikTok, PS Gamer Guy 76. I also have the videos on here. Um, and um, you can follow me also on um, uh, Twitter, TFG11. 984 uh I don't tweet as much as uh as as I should but yeah definitely like TikTok YouTube is probably the best place to find me and stuff and everything so anyway I'm going to wrap up this week one uh prediction and picks hopefully everybody has a great rest of the week let's go NFL football is almost here and yep I will talk to you guys this weekend obviously uh, doing more videos and stuff, posting videos, and probably do some videos Sunday morning. So I'll uh, look for uh, my videos on my YouTube channel. Anyway, have a great night, everybody. Take care. Talk to you soon.